What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, and as you know, yesterday was Toy Fair 2018. We saw a lot of great images of upcoming WWE figures that we will be getting in this year, and I am very excited. I'm going to just go through all of those images that we saw yesterday. Um, we got some other play sets and stuff like that as well, so I'm just going to take you through all of it. I know today is Toy Fair 2018, day number two, and we'll probably get more images of new stuff today. And if that is true, I'll probably drop another video later on today, so be on the lookout for that. But let's go ahead and cover all of the stuff that we saw yesterday. First up, we have this AJ Styles fan pack right here, guys. It looks pretty good. I like the figure we are getting here. It sucks that it's the new articulation, though. Um, so we get no bicep swivel, and it is the older head scan, but it is cool that you get a pair of AJ Styles gloves. Hopefully it's like replica ones that you get from WWE Shop. So if it's like some fake off-brand ones, that would be pretty terrible. But if it is a replica pair of AJ gloves, I think this would definitely be worth the pickup, especially if you're an AJ Styles fan. Next up, we have this new Authentic Scale Ring NXT Edition. I don't know why they even are releasing this because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same ring. It even looks like the same box, so I don't know how this one is different. It seems like it's the same dimensions. It seems like it comes with the exact same things that the older one came with, so I'm not exactly sure why we're getting this, but they did show this at Toy Fair yesterday, so I guess we will see if maybe they make some improvements later on in the year or if it's just a re-release of the older version. Speaking of rings, guys, we have a SmackDown Live main event ring coming this year, just like the Raw one we saw in 2017, but this time it will come with the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal, as you see in the top right corner. This ring will include a Jinder Mahal figure as well as an announce table, if I'm not mistaken. From the packaging, you can see there it has an announce table, and they did display this ring with an announce table. Um, with some other figures that we will show in just a few minutes. I'll also have some closer up images of Jinder Mahal, but here's a look at the box that the main event ring will come in, and it looks pretty good. I wasn't a big fan of the raw one just because of the uh, how short the ropes were, and it does look like this is the same exact scale, but if you were a fan of that raw main event ring, now is your time to get a SmackDown one. It'll probably retail for the same price, but it is cool that it comes with the Jinder Mahal. I am excited to see what the final product does look like. And here is a close-up image of the new Jinder Mahal Elite. As you see, it is going to come with his black turban type deal. And it kind of sucks because this is the exact same attire that I got from BEW with our custom we made together. And I think our custom may look better just because this head scan isn't looking good. I hope this isn't the final product here. But this figure does look nice. I may have to get it just to do a comparison. But I am liking the parts they used here. I love this attire so much. Which is the reason why I had BEW make that attire for me for our custom. But I think the gray looks nice. I think they did the parts very well. Could they have used a different torso? Maybe, but I think this figure does look very cool. I think um, we'll probably get a gender in the Elite line sooner or later, I'm sure. It'll probably come with the WWE Championship. But for our first gender Elite, I think they did a pretty swell job. Head scan, not the best, but I'm sure they will change it before the final product. Up next, we have the brand new Elite 60 John Cena right here. I hope that they throw in the orange t-shirt if this is the final product of the figure right here. Hopefully, it's not just the Elite 54 arms and hat with uh, blue jean shorts and the new shoes. I do love the new shoes, though. They look very, very nice, very accurate. So, I cannot wait to see what this looks like. Hopefully, we get the green and purple attire. But I wouldn't be surprised if they just re-released the uh, orange and blue attire again. If they do that, I hope they choose to give us an orange t-shirt. But I'm always open to get a brand new Cena. You guys know how I am. So, moving on. Up next, we do have Elite 60 Andre the Giant. I am not a big Andre the Giant fan, obviously, because I wasn't around for his run. But the legend himself, if you are a, a flashback collector or you just love Andre the Giant, obviously this is a good figure pickup. I am loving the yellow trunks we are getting right here. And I believe it's going to come with a cloth removable singlet, so that'll be cool to see. But it is pretty much the same as every other Andre figure. I think that makes four Andre Elites now. So they are definitely adding up. But this is a pretty cool figure to see. I'm not that interested in it. But I am loving the yellow attire. Here we have nice images of the brand new Elite 60 New Day looking great in their USA attires. I do like these attires a lot. 
Um, it's pretty hard to have a bad elite with the New Day because they have so many great attires. I would have preferred maybe the blue and pink or some sort of pink attire or their up, up, down, down attire. But I do love this America attire. I think they can make for some fantastic customs. And they look very, very nice. The line work and everything coming up. So I'm very excited to see these. Um, any New Day elites are going to look good. And I can't wait to see what Big E looks like as well. But these are very nice additions. I always like that attire. So this will be very nice to see. And finishing off Elite 60, guys, we have these beautiful figures right here. My most anticipated figures from this set, most definitely. We have Triple H with his long bearded head scan looking great. He comes with his entrance vest and his sledgehammer. This is his from his match with Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 33. And this is going to look perfect right into my Triple H timeline. I was going to have this made in custom form, but now that we're getting it from Mattel, I'm very, very excited. And Elias looking like a, an early figure of the year candidate right here with all the detail they gave him. Got a brand new scarf. We get his guitar. We get a brand new jean mold with rolled up jeans and his head scan and parts look incredible. Cannot wait to pick up Elias. Hopefully 58 and 59 drop soon so that we can get this Elias Elite in here. I feel like it's way overdue now. So hopefully these will release soon. They are looking incredible and I cannot wait to pick both of these figures up. Real quick guys, before we move on, I wanted to show you this image of the main event SmackDown ring from a different angle and the new figures as well. And here is the announce table that comes with the SmackDown main event ring that I was talking about earlier. Now that we've covered that, let's move forward. Here we have images of the new upcoming Elite 59 American Alpha, and both of these look amazing. Chad Gable and Jason Jordan in their gold and American flag, like camouflage looking attires look amazing. I love the way both of these guys look. I love the parts they used. I love the head scans we're getting from both of these. And we are getting SmackDown Live tag titles, so that is always nice. I love the boots on both of these guys, and I cannot wait to pick these up. I hate that we won't get singles run for them for a while, but I do love these elites, and I think they will look fantastic. You know, this is very good for guys who could never hawk down their first TNF elites at Walmart. This is going to be great because they will now be easier to find for everyone. Not that anyone cares, guys, but here's some shots of Basic 84, Kevin Owens, and Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose looking like every other Dean Ambrose Basic that we have gotten in the past. Old AF head scan with his new upcoming, you know, Elite 58 attire. And Kevin Owens, they always give him that skinny body mold for his basics. And the head scan looks good. And I love the attire, but I wish that was an Elite. I love that Face of America KO. But, um, you know, these are trash just because of the arm articulation. And I doubt I get any of the basics moving forward. But, um, you know, it's just a shame the way basics have turned out. We got a new women figure right here, guys. Basic 84 Naomi. I am loving the hair on this thing. If you can see in the reflection behind her, this is a fantastic Naomi. I'll probably pop the head off and put it on a different Naomi just because the body of this will be awful with the new basic articulation. But I'm loving the head scan. I think they did a great job with this hair. So I'm very happy just for that. I may just pick it up just for the hair alone just because I love that fade they put in there. I think they did a great job on that. But besides that, this basic is awful. And if you look closely in this reflection, you will see that Finn Balor, we get to see the backside of this new basic. It sucks again, you know, the arm articulation that we get now on the basics will not allow you to pop the arms off of this and put it on an elite to have a fix up Balor, so that is just sucky. However, uh, maybe today we have new images of this Finn Balor. Maybe we got a new head scan. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't, but I thought this was pretty cool to see the reflection of. Moving forward, new Rusev freaking basic right here looks atrocious. I don't know why they didn't use this opportunity to give us an updated Rusev head scan. Again, with the long hair here. I know I have my custom, but I know a lot of people are really, really wanting a new shorter-haired Rusev head scan. So, unfortunately, we are not going to be getting that right here. This would have been a perfect opportunity to get one. Of course, you have your Cena basic right there, which is not very exciting at all. But for Rusev, I think they totally dropped the ball. It doesn't really even have that much favoritism to Rusev. So, even if it was, a, like, it'd be different if it was a longer head scan that looked great. But it's a terrible long hair head scan, and it's not updated. So, that is just sucky. And the last thing I'm going to show you here today, guys, is this new Tough Talker ring. And I'm not really here to talk about the Tough Talker ring. I'm here to talk about the things in the background right here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. As you see right here in the background, this looks like the brand new Elite 59 Kurt Angle. And it looks like it is the team angle attire and a bald head scan. So hopefully today we will have new images of this figure. I am super, super stoked to see what this thing looks like. Hopefully a great head scan. 
And I also want to talk about this Finn Balor over here looking great. I cannot wait to see both of these figures today. Hopefully, images have already dropped by the time you're seeing this video. If so, then I will be making a new video talking about these things. But I am very, very excited to see what the new figures we got to see today, especially these Kurt, this Kurt Angle and Finn Balor. These are both Elite 59, so I cannot wait to see what we get here. I'm sure they will show Elite 59 Miz as well, wherever he is on the stand. But I just wanted to get this out before the end of the video. And the last figure we're going to talk about here today, guys, is the brand new Elite 59 Zack Ryder in his Battleground 2016 attire. Looking fantastic. Very, very excited to see this thing. I know he is very stoked to have this as well. We are very long overdue for an updated Zack Ryder Elite. I know they have finally given him better parts. You know, they always had him looking very small. So I'm very happy to see them update his torso. If they can do it for him, why can't they do it for AJ Styles and other guys? But I love this attire and I cannot wait to see the final product of this thing and have this thing in hand. I am a big Zack Ryder fan and I cannot wait for this thing to release. But that is pretty much it for all of the new figures. But that is pretty much going to do it for day one of Toy Fair 2018. Guys, I hope that we have gotten new images today. I'm pretty sure that we will. If they have not came out by the time this video has dropped, they will for sure be coming very, very soon. And I will upload a new video talking about all the newer figures. Again, Kurt Angle, Finn Balor, Elite 59 Miz, and a ton of new basics I'm sure they will show today. Maybe even some more newer things. So I cannot wait to see what we are going to get but I'm um, very excited for everything we've seen so far, but I know that they, we are not finished. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Comment down below which figures you are most excited for, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.